Welcome, my homies, to episode number two of this WWE 2K24 President Series, where yours truly, the Big D Trump, faces who will go down as the worst U.S. president turned WWE superstar in history, Barack Obama, in an ambulance match for the undisputed and million dollar titles. I may not be the best wrestler, but I am sure as hell good at bombing villages in Yemen. Can't we all agree with that? Well, there's no disagreement with that statement. And I'm wait, sure. wait, wait. While we're on the subject of Yemen and the ambulance match thing, do you really think that country has enough ambulances for all of the people I injure and kill every single day with my drone strikes? Well, shit, Obama, I, uh, well, damn, okay, bro, uh, hmm, okay, so I don't, uh, I don't think you're in the right state of mind today. Did you take your Xanax yet? I think it's time to go for round 420 of drone strikes, and this is just for this day alone. Obama, chill on them for one day, fam. There's better things in life than drone striking. Just think of McDonald's and their Quarter Pounder with cheese and their Big Macs and their Big Mac sauce and their filet of fish and their- Wait, hold that thought, Donnie. And there it goes. What a beautiful sight. It's literally giving me a boner. That one beast is about to change so many lives. The lives that are even left over there. What did you do, Obama? Why are you making that face? You know your face cam is on. What did you do? Did you do what I think you did? Yep. Oh my fucking God, Obama. You could have used your drone strikes to bomb those pesky taco loving Mexicans trying to cross the border. But ah, uh, Jesus Christ, man. I just don't know what to say anymore. I really don't, bro. Just acknowledge the fact that Yemen is now the land of Obama. And real quick, I want to ask your annoying orange laughing, Big Mac competing, Autumn Leafs feeling, Russia puppeting, Oompa Loompa looking ass. <laughs> hmm. A question. Well, okay, bitch, go right ahead. Great. So why do you always wear those red swim fins all of the time? Like, where is the frickin' body of water at that you're gonna supposedly swim in, bro? You sure as hell know there ain't no water in Yemen because I dried those pussies out, just like I did to Michelle last night. But isn't he a man, though? And isn't Melania a hoe? My God, Barack, I don't know why you're so out of pocket today. Maybe you got hold of some of Hunter Biden's booger sugar. Bro, but I wear it? those red swim fins just so I'm able to ride that 100 feet tall red wave we're going to have in the 2024 elections. You feel me? Keep dreaming, Lil, bro. Whatever, let's just start this ambulance match because here it comes. God, I wonder if Brock Lesnar is in that thing. You know, he loves to run people over in them like he did to Andrew Tate and almost Jay Uso. Nah, bro. Brock Lesnar is too busy asking women to take videos of them pissing. Oh my god, let's just ring that motherfucking bell. Alright, it's time to beat your ass, Barack, and win that title. Bitch, in your dreams. Guys, you two dumbasses just started playing. Stop acting like kids. Wait, what? Where are the kids? Joe, what the hell are you doing in this Discord call? You're supposed to be going to your therapist I signed you up for. Oh yeah, that's right. I'll see you guys later. After I get out of my rehab for my obsession with children and my training for this WWE shit. What the hell was that about? I don't know. And I really don't care because all I care about is why in the fuck Roman is in this Discord call right now because I believe no one watching this video wants him in here. Now you don't gotta be a dick, Barack. I just figured y'all could listen to this tribal chief do some tribal chief commentating over this ambulance match. Who wouldn't? Whatever, Mickey Mouse. <laughs> As long as you don't interfere in this match like your family does and every single one of your predictable matches will be Gucci. Dude, why does everyone keep calling me fucking Mickey Mouse? It's so fucking annoying. All I did was take one stupid picture with me wearing a Mickey Mouse hat. Well, actually, it was a Minnie Mouse hat with my mom and y'all calling me a mouse. It's so damn annoying. Damn, Roman, I didn't know you were a freaking rat. Do you want some cheese? I have some on my Big Mac right now I can give to you, actually. Nah, I'm keeping my cheese to myself, and no, 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 I ain't no rat. I just love my American cheese. And Obama, was that really necessary? It was very necessary, Donald. Oh my God! I'm gonna have to set mouse traps around this Discord server just to keep you out of it. I'm done with this shit. I'm just gonna ignore all of y'all. Well, I don't think mice should talk anyway, so it works out for you. Damn, you got him there, Obama, but wait, hold up just a minute. Do you see that? Let's take a zoom in on that bitch, because unless my eyes are deceiving me, I believe that says, like the video. And that's exactly what you guys should do, because if you don't, you are a stupid, bum, fat piece of shit that- Okay, okay, Trump, chill on the viewers for a minute, you rude-ass motherfucker. 
Ah, shit, man. I thought I was going to hit you with an elbow drop. But instead, I think I broke my elbow like I got ran over by a bus or something. Oh, Mao. Bro, how did you miss that? Let's get a replay on this because Jesus Christ, man, you'd think for how gigantic you are, you would be able to at least make some impact on him. But nope, you completely missed. Dude, if you were in this ring right now, you wouldn't have been able to hit him either. But I guess rats like you are not able to wrestle anyway. So what type of response was that, Big D Trump? What were you thinking, bro? Come on, man. I thought we were over that crap. Oh, and I think I just found Roman Reigns' home where him and his entire family of rats live. The trash can! And I'm gonna hit this thing against Obama's fat head. Nice try, dumbass. Damn it! Jesus Christ, I don't even know why I joined this stupid Discord call. I should have knew that something like this was gonna happen. I just need to leave. I just need to go away. Go far. Far away. I need a vacation. Well, don't you already have vacations like every single week when you're not at the WWE shows? Sounds kind of sus to me, not gonna lie. Yeah, and where would you even go on vacation to? Knowing your ratatouille-looking ass, you'd probably go to every single country around the world and search for the greatest cheese. And then once you found that greatest cheese, you'd find a trash can there to live in with your rat family. Instead of trying to make fun of your tribal chief, maybe, and this is just a thought, focus on your match with Barack, because it looks to me like you're kind of getting your ass kicked right now. Wait, Roman, take a good gosh darn look at your screen right now and tell me where in your tiny ass head in Foxville am I getting the hell beat out of me right now? Because I'm pretty sure in the realm of non-retardism where this match is in right now, I'm beating the hell out of Mr. Yemen. What the? I knew rats didn't have the best vision in the world, but goddamn Mickey Mouse fucking clubhouse, you've impressed me, my hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. Was that a monkey damn Obama? I didn't know you had family over at Roman's house. Well, I guess he reached his breaking point. Maybe we took it too far with this rat and mice shit. It was pretty obvious that he just took that picture for fun. And Trump, you better shut your racist ass up. Nah, bro. Instead, how about you get your dumb ass up so I can hit you with this stop sign just like that? Also enjoy these middle fingers I'm giving you. Bitch! And it's about time we open up the back of this ambulance. And was I the only one that thought something was going to jump out of here and attack me? I guess God didn't hear my prayer this time. Maybe I'll teach you one day how to pray better. I'm pretty good at it. Just look at that sack of shit, CM Punk. The hater of the year award still goes to you, I'm afraid. All right, so it looks like I lost the bet, Donald. I really didn't think you could make Roman Rage in less than 10 minutes. And well, you did in about seven. So here's your $69 billion. And for the hell of it, take this extra 420 million for the jokes. But I'm going to go back to stalking you guys. Thanks for the money, Muskrat. And I hope you have fun stalking us. Oh, don't worry, Trump, I will. I literally do it all of the time you are in these Discord calls. But I'm gonna head out and do that shit. See ya. He said, what? Wait, so all of this Mickey Mouse shit was just a ploy? Just a way for your fat ass to get more money for your presidential campaign or something? Are you kidding me? Mm-hmm. I'm done, bro. All right, so Trump, I hope you're ready for this door to be slammed into your hollow skull. It's not like it's going to give you a brain bleed or a stroke because I'm pretty sure you don't even have a brain in the first place. So this shovel shouldn't ah! hurt either. Ooh, fuck you, Barry. Like the way I do to Yemen or the way I do to Michael. Oh, I mean Michelle. Wait, what the hell did he just say? I'm glad I'm not the only person who heard that. Dude, just forget that even happened and maybe this shovel can do it. Wait, what in the fuck? Is that motherfucker under the ambulance? I'm surprised he can fit under there. Sticking around and stalking you guys has been a huge mistake. Hey, yo, what the hell is this shit? I'm levitating, bro. I'm literally levitating. Cut the video. Cut the video, goddammit, man. Technical difficulties. All right, I think everything is all fixed now, so let's get you in this ambulance again. I'm kind of surprised the ambulance hasn't completely combusted from your weight, but I'm sure that time will arrive soon. Bro, you're really trying to close this door on the Big D Trump? Hell Damn. no, that ain't going to happen today, Barry Obama, so sit your ass down. But I've always wondered, where does the ambulance take you once you're locked in there? Do they just drive you back home or what? You idiot, the ambulance would quite obviously go to the fucking hospital. Don't you mean the medical facility? We don't say hospital over here. We don't want to make Vince mad, you feel me? Well, Mal, I get the joke, but goddamn, it's one of the worst ones I've ever heard. You're just a hater, Barack, but if the ambulance does actually go to a hospital, then which hospital does it go to? Like some hospital in Yemen? Well, there isn't a hospital in Yemen for the ambulance to go to because I drone-striked each and every one of those pussies. 
those bitches are collapsed to the freaking ground, almost like there wasn't even a building there to begin with, almost like a wasteland similar to the current state of Detroit. Damn, not the city of Detroit catching a stray. Now that's crazy. Yeah, Obama, what's up with you today? You seem a little unhinged, not gonna lie, a little out of pocket if you ask me. I think I'm acting perfectly normal. I mean, maybe just, maybe Hunter's Coke might be having some effect on your boy Barry Obama, but I don't think it's that noticeable, right? Right? Oh, nah, bro. It is very noticeable that you're buzzed on that pure Colombian, and trust me, I have my experience with that shit. Well, okay, damn, that's some news to me. Hey, Barack, what are you getting from under the ring right now? I'm getting this sledgehammer so I can knock the living hell out of that fat-ass pig over there and look at him running like a Minecraft pig when you punch it. Ha 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 ha. So many similarities, bro. Oh, thanks a lot, bro, for the early warning. You gave me some time to think of my plan to stop you in your tracks, and just like that, take this DDT, AKA abbreviated to the Dick Dynamic Transfiguration. Creative name, am I right? Wait, what the hell did you just call that move? Yeah, that name was pretty horrible, Donnie. If you needed help naming a move, you should have just called your tribal chief and head of the bedroom, Roman Reigns. The irony of you saying that when you have a move named the Superman Punch is crazy. Maybe instead of calling you Mickey Mouse, I should call you Superman. Oh my fucking God, we better not be doing this bullshit again, you racist. Pumpkin! Yeah, I guess you're right. I already got all of my money from Elon. And Obama, you're probably wondering where I'm taking you and, uh... Yeah, man! Don't worry, Obama, we ain't going to Yemen today. Oh, but thank we God. are going to a little recreation of Yemen I paid Mexico to build. Actually, no, that's a lie. What actually happened was Mexico paid to have this recreation of Yemen built, and then they still had to build it without getting a single penny. And I'm pretty sure that's what you'd call slavery. It's not bad when they're Mexican. You're so fucking racist. And I'm proud, Barack, I'm proud. And I'm gonna be even more proud of power bombing your ass into this motherfucking Walmart shopping cart. Oh, damn Did you, you know Roman Reigns identifies as one? Holy fuck, Donald! And for the little cherry on top, how about you eat this Trump cold stunner, you freaking pussy? Bro, how did I not reverse that, man? I really goofed. Yeah, you got that right, Obama. So get up because your time as champion is up. You better kiss you titles goodbye because you're getting in that ambulance right here and right now. Wow, this is some of the most depressing shit that I've ever witnessed. Like, goddamn Obama, this orange man over here is literally manhandling you at this point and you're gonna just take it all and not even try to fight back? Damn, maybe you really are a pussy, just like Phil Brooks, a.k.a. CM Punk. Drew, you're cooking right now. You got that dog in you today, my Scottish friend? Don't call me your Scottish friend ever again, you Big Mac eating bozo. Okay. And get in this ambulance, Mr. Yemen. It's over for you now. Just give up while you still can, Lil bro. You don't have much time left. No, 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 Trump. I still have a chance. I always do. And plus, if you look just above your character, yeah, right there, you can just cancel trying to close the ambulance door. Come on, man. You've got to do that for your homie Barack Obama. Now nah, we're not going to be homies until I get your titles. That's something you're having a hard time understanding, I feel like. Wait, what? Yeah, bitch. You really thought I wouldn't have got out of that stupid ambulance. I saved my resiliency just for that moment. Now get over here so I can hit you with this air raid crash bomb. Of course you picked an air raid crash bomb to be your ringside finisher. Because your whole personality is built around air raids and drone strikes and Yemen and oil and all of these other things, it literally hurts my brain thinking about them all. And wait, why the hell are you climbing to the top? Heaven to Yemen off of the ambulance. Ah, oh, shit! Wait, what happened to the lights? The real question is what happened to your voice? You sounded like the kid from Home Alone. Eh, I don't know that one, Roman. Likely story. I'm back, you fucking Cody and Obama crybabies. Jesus fucking Christ, man. Can I have one match in my life without someone interfering in it? Plus, I haven't even done anything to you, Dwayne, so I don't know why you're even out here. Dude, you don't gotta get so offensive. I just came out here to watch this match play out. It's not like I'm gonna interfere and cost you the match or something. And if I were you, I'd get off of that ambulance because you never know, that fat orange could come up there and push you off. That freaking pig would break the ladder trying to climb up here, so I think I'm good, bro. Well, I'd turn around and look who's behind you right now, you dumbass. Well, shit. Trump cold stunner pussy. You really thought I wouldn't come up here? I'm not that fat. The McDonald's apple slices keep my weight in a healthy range, but I hope you're ready to die. I don't think those apple slices are gonna do much to help you out, but what do you mean by telling me that I'm gonna die like what the hell? 
By that, I mean, I hope you're ready to get power bombed off of this ambulance. Uh, uh, was all of that screaming really necessary? I really don't think so. Damn Trump, you're a savage. You really just power bombed him off of that ambulance. Now that's crazy. Yeah, let's get a replay on that bitch. And this is where I lift him up and carry him to the edge. And at this point, I noticed he started to pee himself in pure fear of me power bombing him off of the ambulance. And coincidentally enough, that's exactly what I did a few seconds later, just like that. You're such an asshole, Donald. I get that comment about me a lot, Barack. I think that's the only believable thing you've ever said, El Mao. Trump cold stunner pussy. Bro, did you really have to hit me with another one of those stupid stunners that you stole from Steve Austin? Yeah, and that Trump cold stunner is gonna be the icing on the cake to you getting locked up in this ambulance today. And we better not be starting off with this stone cold Steve Austin stunner shit again because I did not copy his stupid finisher. I literally changed it up. And to be quite honest with you, I made it better. And speaking of Stone Cold, what's his deal with Sleepy Joe and this training stuff? I think he's training Joe to be a better wrestler and shit and just become a better person in general. But I'm not too worried about that right now. I'm worried about getting out of this ambulance because God damn, it might be over for me here, folks. You ain't getting out of here, Obama. It's over for you. In a few moments, the announcer is going to say, a new WWE undisputed and million dollar champion, Donald J. Trump. Wait, shit, no way. Yeah, that's right, you bitch boy. I'm about of this motherfucker and Dark Obama is back. For those who don't know, I'm basically Dark Brandon, but far, far worse, especially when I'm in Yemen. So thank God for Trump that he isn't in Yemen right now. And take this move, which I like to call the Yemen Clash. Yeah, it's kind of like the Styles Clash, but I really don't care. And if you have a problem with that, then you better be ready for one or maybe even multiple of my drone strikes I have sitting right next to me as I speak right now. Was that a threat? Yes, it is. Damn. And take this Slim Jim to your ugly ass. I ain't playing around no more, Donnie. I do kind of want to eat this Slim Jim, but nah, I'll do it after I win this match. Did you really hit me with a fucking Slim Jim? Are you fucking serious? You just hit me with a huge thing of meat, like, come on, man, now that's crazy. Whoa, Trump, that was kinda sus. Why do you keep talking about meat? You probably like it when Obama throws it at you. What's next? Are you gonna call him daddy? Bro, now I know you want some of the big D Trump meat straight into your mouth. Now don't lie, Roman, you freaking Mickey Mouse looking ass rat that likes cheese. What? El Mao, you did kinda sound like Mickey Mouse there, not gonna lie. And Dark Obama, you better not be doing what I think you're doing. Yemen Destroyer, and I think that's enough damage done by me, the alter ego of Barack Obama, so I'm gonna hand it back to him now. All right, I'm back to normal now, I think. I don't really remember what happened, but it looks like I'm winning, so I don't really care. Damn, that's exactly what I thought you were gonna do to me, and I didn't get to reverse it? I call this hacks, and it's good to welcome the real Obama back and not the dark Obama or the demon Obama or whatever the hell that thing is called. Please, for the love of God, shut your Big Mac ass up because I'm almost 100% sure that you're about to lose this shit and to only guarantee my chances even more, how about I hit your big ass head with this steel chair? This is what I call Big D Trump abuse and hacking because everyone watching this video knows that you're hacking right now. And I don't know how you can guarantee your chances of winning more when you just said your quote of quote chances of winning are 100%. So your math don't add up, Lil Bro. Please stop yapping, bro. Okay, fine. But how about you get up so I can beat you up again? Wait, why the hell won't my buttons work? Why can't I hit you? I knew you were hacking. You're really that desperate. Idiot. I'm not hacking. You always say someone is hacking or cheating when they're beating you just like the 2020 election. But now I'm about to power bomb you into this ambulance. Well, shit, never mind, because I can't lift your 500-pound ass up. You can't blame me that you're literally a land whale. My weight won't just come in handy for winning this match, but it also comes handy when getting hoes. Now, don't lie to yourself like that Trumpy Dumpty. You're jealous, Obama, but you won't ever admit, will you? But I don't care if you admit it or not, because you're going to have to admit that I'm better than you after I win this, because I think that time is right now. Wait, what the fuck? I'm done watching this clown circus bullshit. You son of a bitch, I was literally about to win. So what does this mean now? Since we both were locked up in there, does that mean we tied? Bullshit!
All I wanted was a fair match without any interferences, and of course, all hell had to break loose. I'm actually agreeing with you for this one, Barack, so Dwayne, you better get ready to throw some hands, bitch. I'm getting in that ring too, but wait. Where in the living fuck did the freaking ambulance go? It was literally just here like, homie just despawned. But who cares, because The Rock is about to get his ass kicked by Barry Obama. No, 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 wait guys, you've got to let me explain myself. So, I only did this because I wanted to change the course of this series. Pretty much since the beginning of the WWE 2K23 series, there's been a double champion and there's been no other titles to compete for. And today, that changes. Since you both were in the ambulance when the doors closed, thanks to yours truly, I think it's time we split the titles. Barack Obama will keep the undisputed title while Donald Trump gets the title he's been wanting for 10 months now, the Million Dollar Championship. But out of those two titles, there's only one that The Rock wants to get his hands on, and that is the Million Dollar Championship. Wait, what are you kidding me? Take this rock bottom, motherfucker. Nah, so you really want my title? Bet so next episode, how about your dumbass faces me for the Million Dollar Championship? You've just made a huge mistake, Trump. You're about to lose your title that I technically helped you win on your first defense, just like how you lost the undisputed title to Roman. And speaking of Roman, how about he be the special guest referee for this match? That sounds like a great idea, Dwayne. I'm about to be the most unbiased, trustworthy, and professional referee to ever walk the face of this planet. And of course, I'm not being sarcastic. Trust me, bro. This is about to be the great Hollywood massacre of the century by yours truly, the Big D Trump. Hey Biden, welcome to your first therapy session with me, Ben Shapiro. So what seems to be going on with you lately? I know you came here to, I guess, kind of get rid or at the very least try and control your obsession with little children. How has that been working out recently? Yeah, Ben, you know, me Uncle Bidenator has really, and when I mean really, I mean really been trying to get myself back together with all of this, especially since I'm the president of the United States somehow. The biggest problem I'm facing right now, though, is which age range is the best? One to four, five to nine. Wait, what age ranges are we talking about here? Like, what are they for, if you get what I'm saying? The age range of children, of course. I'm trying out a new age group to do my freaky stuff with instead of doing that freaky stuff to newborn babies in the freaking hospital. Holy fucking shit, Joe. How about let's chill out a little bit here. Take some breathers, all right? So over the next few weeks, we're going to try and work and try to get rid of this horrible obsession you have. And how has your training with Stone Cold Steve Austin been going for your WWE stuff? Oh, yeah, me and that bald guy have been training pretty good. Just look at what we did earlier. He was teaching me how to do reversals for different moves, and I wasn't good at it at first. But once I got a hand of that bitch, that stone cold got played by one of his elders because just look at that, bro. Well, that's good to hear. At least you're making some progress on that front. But we've just ran out of time, so I'll see you next week, Joe. If you even remember to come, that is. You know what? We really got to solve your dementia problem too, but that's for another time. See ya, bro. Well, now that this therapy thing for the day is done, can I get back to sniffing little girls? And don't forget about the little boys too, El Mao. I'm done.